Mondeo had a lot of engines, petrol 1.6, 125 horsepower, 2.0, 145 and 203 horsepower, 2.3, 161 horsepower, 2.5, 220 horsepower, as well as diesel 1.8, 125 horsepower, 2.0, 130 and 140 horsepower, and 2.2, 175 horsepower. We will not take into account the fresh engines that entered service in 2011, since it is still too early to talk about their viability. Although we will still make an exception for the line of high-performance EcoBoost units, which managed to be noted by frequent visits to dealers to return the flown pipe of the air supply line to its place. Duratec engines require frequent cleaning of the throttle body. If you do not carry out the necessary procedure every 15,000 kilometers, you will have to put up with the burning, check, floating, speed and increased gas mileage. By the way, Mondeo is squeamish about bad fuel, so it is able to respond to refueling anywhere with a crumbling catalyst, and it doesn't matter what you have under the hood, your native Ford engine, Mazda 2.3 or 2.5 from Volvo. Otherwise, there is nothing to complain about on the motors, it is only necessary to indicate rare cases of turbine failure. If, of course, there is one, in the EGR sensor. Transmission. The first models of the fourth generation were equipped with five and six speed manual transmissions, with an automatic it was possible to purchase only a 2.3 liter gasoline version or a 130 horsepower diesel version. It's too early to talk about the latest robot power shift, it is only known that its work is in no way inferior to the Volkswagen DSG. The rest of the listed checkpoints have earned respect for their unpretentiousness and adequacy of work. Although it is still possible to stumble upon a twitchy car when switching, no one has canceled a thorough check. On cars with a 1.6 engine and mechanics, IB5, of the initial years of production, there was a weak point, the drive oil seal, which could snot from the first thousand kilometers. Installing a new upgraded part once and almost forever solved this problem. Trouble rarely occurs with the clutch, and it is generally not necessary to change it before the 100,000th run. It is much more likely that one day, somewhere in the middle of the yard, when you need to actively maneuver, the power steering suddenly stops making life easier. The main thing is to prevent a breakdown in time, since at first the owners pay attention to the noisy work when taxi, and then they visit dealers who sentence the power steering reservoir to be replaced. If such simple and inexpensive work is not done in a timely manner, then there is every chance of getting big, but already with the pump also came across instances with defective steering racks, making themselves felt shortly after purchase. The condition of the anthers on the rods, tips, and ball bearings must sometimes be monitored, here this is a weak point. If there are no tears and cracks, then the parts will last for many years. In general, the management of the Mondeo is one of the sharpest and most adequate in the class. And what breaks? Slightly inaccurately press the pedal in the middle, and in an instant you fly to the steering wheel to pay for an unfastened seat belt. Only now the pads need to be changed about once every 20 to 30,000 kilometers, depending on the driving style. At the same time it will not be superfluous for this model to check the wheel alignment, camber slash toe. Suspension. Starting talking about the suspension, first I would like to say about the suspension struts because the Mondeo has the notorious McPherson in the front, and not the Multi-Lake S, for example, on a Mazda 6 relative. In terms of driving performance, the American, at least, is not inferior to the Japanese classmate. But it often happens that the racks and thrust bearings are losing ground much earlier than anyone who has laid out about a million rubles at the dealer's cash desk would like. It's all about unpleasant knocks when driving, for example, railway or tram tracks. And no matter how bitter it may sound, installing only non-original parts helps to completely correct the situation. The next candidates for the weakest link are again the racks, but already the stabilizer. About 40 to 50,000 kilometers should depart silently, and then a replacement. The bushings, on the contrary, are distinguished by a high resource. That, perhaps, is all, you can only find fault with the low ground clearance. Although avid drivers found this a huge plus in relation to handling. Body. Before we talk about the most interesting, we will give some information about the Mondeo body. But he outgrew many classmates in size, length, 4,844 millimeters. The long base, 2,850 millimeters, has left a positive contribution to the smoothness of the ride and the capacity of the business car. But prudent owners found one drawback in all this, 
weak body rigidity, which is why squeaks are periodically heard in the cabin, especially when driving through terrain. Inside the Mondeo is a pretty solid finish, comfortable comfortable chairs. If you decide to leave this wonderful salon outside from the front seat, you should make sure that the back door is not ajar by 10 to 15 centimeters place of the so-called kinetic ribs of the body. You cannot guess about such a phenomenon for a long time until you find a chip. Next, we list the real little things that no, no, and they do happen. It is worth noting the weak fastening of door seals. Also, in sedans, the trunk lid sometimes begins to rub the bumper, and pseudo-chrome peels off the door handles in a year or two. A dead battery, hidden the devil knows where, is also capable of bringing some discomfort to the life of the owner. Of course it's worth it. Wagon and Hatchback these two modifications of the Mondeo, one might say, were unlucky. By the time the car entered the market in Russia, there was an economic crisis, which had a very negative impact on demand. Therefore, the practical station wagon and hatchback, which did not differ well in the previous generation, decided not to sell with us. In fact, there is nothing serious in the above shortcomings, and the lion's share of the minuses is safely eaten up by the price of the car. Moreover, the equipment will not leave indifferent those who like to baby in comfort. There can be all possible electric drives and heating, light and rain sensors, two-zone climate control, leather interior, parking sensors, keyless entry system, biazenon headlights, 7PB, ABS, ESP, and much more. In addition, the hijackers are not particularly interested in this car, preferring the Avensis, Camry from Toyota or the 6 from Mazda. When buying, do not forget to visit the diagnostic center for a complete examination, and after the purchase, we simply remember and monitor the weak points of the model.